Both athletes looking ready to go. Zap it up before they get to business. Corey Taylor in the all black. Let's get physical, physical. Corey Taylor using that. Ooh, he's getting attacked with the Kimura immediately. Did get the takedown though. It is legal for him to grab his own shorts to defend that Kimura, but mm -hmm. he cannot grab his opponent's clothing. Christian here looking pretty active off his back so far. Thinking about isolating an arm there. Christian does a great job of pushing that head away. Yeah, he does Ooh. not want Corey Taylor to get his head under his chin, start flattening him out. His guard recovery. Corey okay. Taylor steps right into a footlock series here. There we go. Christian attacking. One of my favorite positions to be in in the gi, I ain't gonna lie. Corey re attacking. They're in a 50 50 here. I would have liked to see Christian actually like, use that to actually sweep instead of once he knew he wasn't going to get his sweep, uh, his uh, foot lock. Or he getting heavy. Christian still, though, doing a good job. Make sure that head stays away from him. Beautiful. Where the head goes, the body follows. Got a little over aggressive in that back step, but he might step himself into a knee bar. Oh, oh, oh. Looking at foot lock series here. The knee Yikes. is inside the lock, though. Hard to finish that when you don't have the knee inside the lock. Christian, good defense here. Corey might need to bail before he gives up a bad position here. Looks like he's gift wrapping the hand, too. Yes, sir. Going straight to that gift wrap series. That's my favorite series in all of Nogi. Oh. It gives you so much control. Corey just powers right through it, though. Back on top. Looking over to step over that bottom foot. Or just circle back into the guard. Looking content to just rest a little bit here. And again, keeping that head away. Yeah, but he's keeping his head to the opposite side of the hips, which is isolating his own arm. Might be giving up a Kimura. Here we go again. Got to keep that head on the inside, or else you're going to be constantly defending these Kimuras. Later on in the match, when everything starts to fatigue, it's a little bit more slippery. It's a little hard to hold on to yourself. Absolutely. Back to his feet. Looks like he's more interested in passing from the feet than traditional knee slides and stuff. Good pressure there. Gets down Ooh. to the hips. Head right under the chin, pushing his head against the cage. Definitely an uncomfortable position. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, covering the mouth too. Hey, keeping it classy, but nasty. to a front headlock series here. It's one thing in Nogi I think I like I do more is more like a shin to shin type of deal instead of like a half guard type. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of action here. Both guys attacking. Christian might be looking for a foot lock series here as so we can get past that arm. Still keeps attacking those Kimuras every now and again too. Yeah, Corey keeps putting himself in those positions by keeping his head low and away from his arm. But so far, he's defended well, so he's not. I don't know. Too this concerned. one looks like it's there. It's going through your back. He could step over with ah. the his own. Really, just kind of powers through it every single time. He might be the more physical grappler here. It's hard to control his position. 
I would like to see Corey take his right arm back to the near side of the hip so he doesn't hey, get rolled there. We there. Go. I was waiting for that underhook at the hip heist and right out of there we go. Christian goes straight to the back, hooks in. Both hooks in, yeah, oh. and a body triangle. And he's getting under the I neck. I think it's getting pretty nasty from here. Corey just needs to get his back to the mat and he'll be safe here. Christian, oh, let's go with the, the body announcer. triangle. Back to the body triangle. Let's not get a little cocky yet, buddy. We still got a little ways to go. Corey on that baseball Good grip. Good explosion. Turns in. Step passing Ooh, right back to a footlock. Right back to it. If you had to give an advantage so far, Carlos, who would you give it to? Ooh. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and give this one to uh, Christian. I'm not even going to lie. This will head into overtime. He definitely had the more dominant position. Figure out which corner will take the advantage under overtime rules. Blue has the advantage. Christian, Christian will choose. Determine whether he will hang on or escape. Christian chooses to attack the back. Blue opts to hang on. We are in overtime. What do you think about that, Ramsey? Good choice? Well, we just saw the Darst Daddy manage to hold on to that position, so. The I think Corey's pretty explosive, so. I do agree. I think Corey showed that he was, uh, he escaped that other back, <clears throat> back mount with pretty, pretty good ease. Uh-oh. Christian looks like he has pretty good body triangle series here. Corey getting to his feet. I think you guys might be right. Yep. Hey man, like I said, it's your dance, man. If you wanna, if you wanna choose to like attack Christian that. Went full send. There he went go. for it and it did not work out, but at least he uh, he tried. It's more than I would have done. I'd have been like, yeah, let's defend and uh, let's defend on out of here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner by escape in overtime out of the red corner, Corey. Taylor! Very nice, very nice. You know, we haven't really seen a lot of people that are getting body triangled, attacking the footlocks where you uh, step over their legs and try and footlock them real quick. Do you think the guys are just more flexible these days? They're more I think so. ready for it? or I feel like when you got guys twerking on straight ankles and heel hooks, I feel like your leg just doesn't, it's not that little